Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of Indie Book Review. I'm Quinn Buckland, complete with COVID hair. And today I am reviewing What Are Friends For by Sarah Sutton. This is a YA romance book. Straight up romance. Like no mystery, no anything else that goes along with it. Like this is a romance. Straight up. Now, it's been at least a year since I've read a straight romance novel, so I was kind of a little interested to get back into it. I mean, granted, romance is definitely not my genre, especially not my preferred genre, but I'm open to all genres and willing to give them all, you know, uh, a decent and honest chance. So I decided to give this one a try, and, well, let's get into this, shall we? So, first we're going to start with the plot. It's, it stars this this girl, Rami. She's 17, will be 18, and, you know, at some point. And she, she lives across the street from her best friend, Elijah. And they've been friends for years and years and years and years, like, for as long as they can possibly remember. They're, they're best friends. They know pretty much everything about each other. And due to a mishap at a party, they end up kissing. She, she realizes what's going on. He doesn't, and, you know, it... Hijinks ensues, more or less. She's dealing with her own personal stresses with school and boys and all this other stuff and falling completely head over heels for her best friend. This plot is not something that I myself have seen, at least not like this. Like, I've seen the best friend fall fall for the other best friend before. I've seen the unrequited love storyline and stuff like that. But for the most part, this one is this one definitely goes a bit more of an, an original route, especially with some of the side plots that go along with it. As for the main plot itself, it does have a bit of the, or at least a few of the standard romance tropes that I myself am not particularly fond of. It doesn't mean that it's bad by any means. It's just something that I myself am not particularly fond of. Kind of like the will they, won't they? I hate it so much. I'm glad she didn't do the whole friends to love or, or the whole enemies to lovers thing that's not in this book in any means in fact if anyone's a complete and total asshole they tend to get dumped which i'm which i definitely approve of and yeah it's pretty much all in all i'm gonna give the plot a three out of five like it's fairly tropey and it but it does have a lot of originality in and of itself as well especially in the side plots Characters. The characters are definitely a major strong point of this book. Uh, Remy is definitely her own character. There's there was at no point of the book where I could have looked at any piece of dialogue and gone and gone yeah yeah that's Remy and then find out it's say Savannah. There was at no point where I could have possibly have done that. Elijah is definitely his own character. Savannah, Elijah's current girlfriend, is her own character. Jeremy, the guy that Remy was initially crushing on. Is his own character. They are all so unique in their own ways. Even the side characters like the mother and father or the teachers, they are definitely their own characters. This is definitely done so well. I am very happy with how the how these characters are done. Uh, Remy does get annoying every once in a while. She has a tendency to kind of blow some things out of proportion, and I I get it. I definitely do and it, especially on a character perspective, I get it. But a lot of her problems could have definitely have been solved if she just talked to the person. You know, if she just straight out told Elijah, hey, shit went down, I didn't realize I was kissing you, she could have got a bit more of an honest reaction. And, I mean, the story probably would have ended a little differently, but it would have been a little bit better and would have saved her a lot of grief as well. I mean, I get why she didn't want to, because, you know, she was afraid of, you know, it changing their entire dynamic, and it did anyway. So, really, at a certain point, she's like, I don't know, maybe I'm just coming at it from a 30-year-old male's perspective. <laughs> and, you know, I was never a teenage girl. I never really got close to them when I was a teenager. Like, I, I didn't date when I was a teenager, so it's not really something that I'm particularly knowledgeable in. I'm just saying that as a, from a character perspective and as a raider, I did find Remy to get annoying every once in a while. Not very often, but just every once in a while. So, characters, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Definitely one of the stronger suits of this book. The writing. 
the writing is flawless through this book. Absolutely flawless. There were points where I was actually looking for any sort of typo errors or anything like that, and I couldn't find a single one. This is probably the first book in a long time that I haven't found a typo error. And that is no shortage of impressive. So, you know, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Totally impressed with that. And as for the writing in and of itself, the, it's it's really, really well well written. She, at no point, lost me. I always knew what was going on. As I said before, characters always spoke with their own voice. I'm really happy with what I saw there. Characters are a 5 out of... Or, <laughs> writing is a 5 out of 5. Imagination and research. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I, I can't say there's a whole lot of points where research really would have been really needed. Like, this is the sort of book where a person can take it from personal experience and go from there. So, I mean, imagination, I suppose, is probably one of the greater points of this. And I'm willing to give imagination a pretty high score, just based on what the book is. Like, there's not a lot of imagination they had to go into it, just into building the story in and of itself. So, I'm going to give imagination and research a 5 out of 5. Just because this is a straight up romance, it's a high school, it's YA, there's really there's really nothing for me to critique with it. And the ending. The ending is not bad. It definitely, I mean, I thought it should have been a little longer. It should have been a little more drawn out. There should have been a little bit more suspense to it. Um, I'm not going to spoil the ending. I'm not going to do my usual spoilery bit because... Really, it doesn't matter. What it really comes down to is the ending was just a little too quick. I'm not like it wasn't rushed by any means. Like it definitely wasn't. It it didn't feel like it's a okay done. It was definitely like there was definitely thought that went into each bit, but there were just some questions in terms of what was going on through the story and just little points that were brought up throughout it that I just didn't feel were quite fully resolved. Like her door. Like the front door was janky and he only just kind of fixed it and then it broke again and it just kind of never came up again after that and I don't know. It's not even really a story thread. It's just a thing that got mentioned more than a few times so I thought it might have been going somewhere. Just kind of my thing. Like just kind of my thought, and like, but there's, but there's a problem with the school, and that got fixed really quickly, and then there's the whole romance thing, and that got fixed really quickly, and while it definitely felt natural enough, it did kind of feel like things were just getting tied up a little too quick and a little too easily. And that's just my thought on the ending, um. All in all, I'm going to give the ending a 3 out of 5. Like, it definitely was a fairly decent ending. It just wasn't as good as I thought it could have been or even should have been. But th that's just my thought, anyway. All in all, the book does get a 7.5 out of, out of 10. Like, it's a very, very good book. It's a fun read. I I enjoyed it. Like, I after at this point, I don't even think I can say that I don't enjoy romance. Because... Out of the four romance books that I read, I enjoyed three out of them, and the one that I didn't enjoy was not because of the romance. <laughs> so, I don't think I can actually say that I don't enjoy romance novels anymore. You know, there are still a lot of romance tropes that I don't like, but I did enjoy this one. The characters were great, the plot was great, everything was just really well done. Just a couple little nitpicks here and here and there. Just lost it some points. <sighs> but anyway, that's all I got for you folks. So have a good one.